What's up friends? Today we are here on the Meepo Envy, this green beauty. And today we're going to be doing the first ride. And I will be giving you my first ride impressions of what I think of this board. We're going to talk about the deck, the ESC, the braking, trucks, and if I think I'm going to enjoy the next 100 miles because this will be getting a full review in the future and uh, <laughs> I've got to ride it a lot to get to that point. So right now we are just starting off the ride in speed mode one which already is a little bit odd but some people will definitely be riding in speed mode one so we got to test it out. Uh, I've found that the top speed kind of like varies, which is kind of weird. Like here, there's max throttle right there. Very controlled. And then we're gonna get up to 10 miles an hour, 11 miles an hour. And then if you let off, slow down a little bit and then get back onto it, it like struggles. You know, it's like seven, eight, slowly going back up. But who knows? I'm not gonna ever ride in speed mode one, so I'm not honestly too worried about it. So let's just go ahead and go straight into speed mode two, which you can change while you're riding. So there's speed mode two. Got a little bit more speed, up to 17, 18 miles an hour. Now this board actually does go pretty fast, all the way up to 33 miles an hour, which is pretty decent for a Hobbywing ESC and uh, 90 millimeter wheels with stock gearing. So I am definitely not going to be hitting 33 today. Maybe I will hit 33, uh, well, I will. I'll hit 33 during uh, further testing as I get to know the board more and as I get more miles on it. So today we'll probably go up to about 25 miles an hour because that's what I typically ride up to on my fast part of my testing route. And right now, I'm just enjoying the ride. It's been uh, about, ooh, let's see, it's been about 0.4 miles so far. And this deck is feeling pretty nice. And to give you some context here, it is actually the same day that I recorded the WowGo 3E uh, first ride. So I'm coming off of that. And then I also rode the Flex Pro today. So I have like a direct reference to both of those. And I'll say this deck is not as flexible as the Flex Pro. And I think the 3E deck is a little more flexible too. But what I like about this one over the 3E one is that the standing platform for your feet horizontally is nice and wide and is actually able to cover my entire foot. Unlike the skinnier deck of the 3E and similar to the uh, Flex Pro foot wells. So that's nice. And the uh, ESC feels pretty good so far. Acceleration is definitely a bit lacking, but I think it's probably turned down a lot in the lower speed modes since they are so much lower uh, top speed. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and switch into speed mode three in a second here. Let's do this turn, Let's see how that goes pretty good that's a two-lane street turnaround and one thing that I've noticed about this the trucks feel pretty good out of the box um, these have 90a bushings in them right now and they're fairly carvy but they feel pretty stable and I think that's partly because they're uh, both barrel bushings and they've got those cupped washers similar to the uh, WowGo 3E. But they feel pretty good so far. And of course, I'll get a much better opinion about all these things as uh, I get more miles on the board. So I have to take everything I say today with a slight grain of salt since it's my first time riding this board at all. All right, so as I was saying, we're gonna talk a little bit more about the deck. The deck on here is a composite combo deck of fiberglass and bamboo. 
giving it a nice amount of flex but a good amount of strength as well. And I think composite decks are definitely one of the best uh, options for electric skateboards because of all the extra forces that are going to be going through the deck and uh, that includes the motor torque and braking and uh, all the extra vibrations from the battery weight and stuff like that. Now the deck feels great. Uh, I do think it's a little bit stiff for some comparisons. This will be better for heavier riders but uh, we'll see how well it performs uh, at speed compared to the Flex Pro. Now this does go a little faster than the Flex Pro so that's something worth mentioning and uh, speaking of speed the Hobbywing ESC in this is the 9028 as defined on the uh, Meepo website. Now I'm not exactly sure how that compares in terms of other boards because most companies don't list which SKU of the Hobbywing ESC they have so uh, a little bit hard to tell but uh, it seems to have decent power so far and we're going to switch into speed mode 3 now and see how that fares as we come up to the high speed section where we will be going in speed mode 4. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do a full launch on here. Let's see. Eh, it's alright, it's alright. Feels pretty decent. It is possible, you know, that this is the same Hobbywing ESC as the Flex Pro. We'll see once we get to speed mode 4. But, um, feels pretty smooth so far. Pretty predictable. And the brakes feel good as well. Alright, so we're in speed mode 3, and I believe speed mode 3 actually does go all the way up to... Uh, 27 miles an hour if I remember correctly from when I was testing it on the bench which is quite fast that's the top speed of a lot of the boards in this uh, category so we're gonna see after I switch hands again uh, what we can get up to now thing is this is first day on the board so we're definitely not aiming to hit that top speed but if the trucks are stable enough, I'll do it. So, nice hard break, and uh, we'll switch to speed mode four. All right, so we're in speed mode four now. We can do a full attempted launch. Let's see what this thing can do. All right, not bad. Oh, that's 25 miles an hour. Shoot, wow, got there pretty quick. Um, I will say, this is fairly peppy. It does feel quite similar to that Flex Pro Hobbywing ESC. I also will say that this wider deck gives me a lot more confidence uh, traveling at this higher speed. We're going 25 like it's nothing right now. And it was not quite as comfortable on the skinnier deck of the 3E this morning. Now, I probably should stop comparing these so much because uh, this video is about the Meepo, but people are going to make these comparisons, so my goal here is to make stuff that's useful for you guys, uh, more so than the company is just... But, <laughs> uh, yeah, it feels pretty good so far. The trucks are feeling a little bit squirrely when we get up to that uh, 25 mile an hour range, so for hitting the top speed, I might try switching out the rears to the 100 A ones that came in the box, or we may just try tightening them down a little bit because I'm feeling a little bit of a little bit of bumpy back and forth back there. Now I'm not actually sure what angle these trucks are. Um, I'll probably try to ask my Meepo rep, but I think they're 50 degree, which is like you know a, a standard skate truck. So it's uh, definitely more useful for uh, sharp turning and stuff like that rather than high speed stability which is interesting given that this thing can go uh, up to 33 miles an hour but yeah man this thing uh, wants to like fishtail when I full accelerate a little bit Weird.
All right, next thing to talk about is the battery. And this is one thing that the Envy definitely has over some of its other uh, similarly priced or even higher priced competitors. And that is, this thing has a Molly Cell battery pack in it. That's right, 12S2P of P42A, which comes out to, I think, 362 watt hours. And comparing that directly to a 12S2P of uh, 40Ts or Lishens, that's only... Correction here, the Molly Cell P42A battery is 362 watt hours and the 40T one is 345. The extra range comes from the higher power capacity of the Molly Cells rather than the actual size difference. And right now we've gone 2.8 miles and uh, the battery meter is still at five bars out of five. So doing pretty good there. Um, of course, I will let you guys know how much this takes uh, for the whole journey, but so far that's not too bad. And uh, I will say, while it does have Molly cell battery cells, which are great, it doesn't mean anything if the battery pack is going to break. And that is one thing that I've heard people complain about, uh, some of the Meepo batteries coming apart a little bit prematurely. Now, I'm not trying to put anything out there into the world that something's going to happen to this board, but it's something that I've heard going around uh, the, the internet. So. Hopefully we'll have a good, well-made battery here and I won't have any problems, but that's partly why I ride at 100 miles, although battery problems do take longer than that to show up um, from my experience, so maybe it won't be so uh, evident. Anyway, I've been enjoying this ride so far, and I will say one other thing. This board is absolutely gorgeous. In a world of orange and black, this green really pops, and I really like the green base plates. Um, also on here we have the Meepo Shredder trucks, which do look quite interesting, uh, a little bit unique. And one other thing that's unique here is that they have metal belt guards or motor guard area. You can see the scrapes on there already. Yeah, usually those are plastic on a lot of other boards, so uh, I would expect that area to last a lot longer on here versus the uh, other competition. So, cool stuff there. I'm gonna go ahead and take a nice thumbnail picture and then we'll get back to riding. Alrighty, we talked about a lot of things on this board already. Um, I think there's only a couple things we left out. Motors, 4240 motors, uh, very similar to the uh, other hobby wing boards of this size. The, re the remote, pretty standard uh, hobby wing remote for the boards outside of X-Way. This one is the exact same remote as the one on the WowGo 3E. So uh, I thought that was kind of interesting, except this one has Meepo stickers on it. Um, and of course this board goes faster. So those are some interesting things. Deck still feels good. Meepo got the uh, sh shredder trucks on there with their, uh, what are they called, sentry wheels, which are their 90 millimeter urethane, which feels pretty good to be honest. Um, most of the stock urethane nowadays is a lot better than it used to be. Uh, the cheap wheels that you used to get on cheap boards are nowhere near as comfortable as these are. So uh, those are good things to point out. Um, a lot of the stuff that I want to talk about in detail, we'll have to take some time to test, but I'll check in with you guys again at uh, Rolling Resistance Hill.
right, so we're around the halfway point now, right before Rolling Resistance Hill. And we've just dropped our first bar of battery uh, and completed a total of 4.5 miles. So, battery range on here is looking pretty good. Only dropping one bar in four and a half miles. That's uh, making me optimistic that I might be able to ride this to my work, which is approximately 10 miles away from where I live. So that'll make it a lot easier to knock out some miles on here. And uh, we'll see how that goes. But I'm looking, uh, or I'm feeling optimistic right now. And uh, one other thing, Mebo did actually send me their version of the 105 um, Lucid wheels that Mad Eastgate sells. Um, I'm sure it's the same exact wheel, to be honest. It just has Mebo branding. So we will be throwing those on here, but of course for the first ride, got to be in that stock configuration. So uh, I will most likely be switching out to the bigger wheels. Unfortunately, I don't think I have a, a bigger pulley to put on them in my uh, box from Meepo, but I'll check and see if I've got any uh, probably 40 tooth pulleys that will fit on these uh, rear axles. And uh, we'll see once I take apart the drivetrain for that uh, if there's any compatibility issues with standard bearing pulleys so all things to come in the future and uh, I'll talk about them in the full review so we're now on rolling resistance hill which at the bottom of it has the rumble strip bridge and I will say the rolling resistance on this is fairly decent I think the belt drive is a little bit tighter than some other ones that I've been on of course brand new board hard to tell but feels good, feels decent. Now rolling pretty fast, going about 20 miles an hour. I will say it feels fairly stable. Um, I was still getting some of those wobbles on the rear truck going at the higher speeds like 25, but part of it is me getting used to the board. So uh, time will tell, but never good to go super fast on a brand new board. That's how you get hurt. I don't have time for that. Coming up on the bridge now. We'll see how this deck holds up to the bumpies. Definitely feel those quite a bit. The stiffer deck is letting a lot more through. Uh, not nearly as bad as a stiff deck like the X1 Max or similar uh, DIY decks, but definitely not as comfortable as the uh, 3E or the Flex Pro. Now we're going up this hill uh, and this definitely has way more power than the 3E because we're able to easily keep 22 miles an hour up this hill and I don't really want to go any faster because this bike lane is super bumpy so uh, I know I can get, a, oh actually we're at full throttle, 23 miles an hour up this hill though, pretty good especially from a board like this and uh, at the price, thanks, and at the price that we are uh, coming in at for the Envy. Now, yeah, I'm really impressed with this hill performance right now. I wonder if that has something to do with how many amps the battery is able to provide the ESC, because this Molly cell battery definitely hits a lot harder than a 40T when it comes to uh, power delivered at all of the voltages, actually. But yeah, I'm impressed, good job. All right guys, I've just finished up the first ride on the Meepo Envy and it was a lot of fun. I think that this deck is really good. The trucks are pretty good. Uh, the wheels are surprisingly comfortable more than I expected. ESC, it's all right. It's fairly good on acceleration. There's kind of this weird lag thing when you let off. Uh, you can feel a little bit of a, a little bit of a lag, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but we'll see how I get used to it over the time of riding this board. Now, the 
whole point of these first ride videos is to get a first look and see what I think stepping on the board for the first time and honestly it's fun and I think most of them are going to be fun but uh, with different levels of polish. I think that this has a lot of good features to it. It seems to be built fairly well and overall I like it but more to be seen uh, as I do more miles. Anyway, um, we went 7.6 miles and we took off two bars of battery. And that second bar just came off about a mile ago. So looking pretty optimistic for the battery on this thing to get maybe 18 miles or something like that, which is pretty dang good for a 12 S2P. Of course, we're on urethane, so that does help a lot. But yeah, overall, great time. Um, I don't believe that there is an app or anything to adjust settings on this ESC, so you kind of just got your four speed modes and your braking set wherever they are from the factory, but um, that's not a huge deal. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it informative. Stay safe, keep on riding, and peace out.